The caretaker of those suffering from dementia had an opportunity to learn more about how to cope with the disease. The Community VNA hosted a seminar on Wednesday led by mental health counselor Dr. Terry E. Ruby. There, she gave a presentation about the illness and offered useful tips for those caring for loved ones suffering from the disease. We spoke with her to learn more about the presentation and the information she had to offer. And that's the beauty of my training is because as a physical therapist and a mental health counselor, it's impossible for me to separate the body and the mind. They have to go together. You have to work with both pieces um, in order to make any sustainable changes for yourself or anybody else. My name is Terry Ruby and I am a physical therapist and I am a licensed mental health counselor and I have been asked by the community VNA to address their caregivers um, who are dealing mostly at home with folks who have dementia and are other physical disabilities who demand 24-7 care at home. The most important thing that any caregiver can do is take care of themselves. Put on that oxygen first, take care of yourself, go out, take a walk, go exercise, go visit with a friend, take care of yourself because you will never be an effective caregiver if you don't. And the next important thing as far as the person you're caring for is to meet them where they are. The expectation that you bring to the job could either make it a distress or a good stress for you. Misconceptions about dementia, I guess, is that everybody who has dementia has the same type of problems. And unfortunately, every person who has dementia, or maybe fortunately, manifests it in a different way. So you may have somebody who has dementia who basically can't remember your name, but can remember um, what shows are on television. And then you have another person who, can, who can't keep a checkbook, but can make a meal. So it comes, it's a very confusing, enigmatic disease, um, and I think people are confused if one person they know has dementia can still get dressed, take a shower, and make a cup of coffee, and another person can't even figure out what a pair of pants are to, for. The research shows that if you're going to have dementia due to genetic reasons, usually early onset, like at age 50, there's not much you really can do to make a difference. But they do know that there's a lot of research out there that says exercise is very preventive. Um, it, and if, even if you're going to get dementia, it will come maybe later on in life. Um, because you're stimulating your circulatory system. If you can prevent diabetes through exercise, through diet, through weight control, you will reduce your risk of having dementia through behavioral issues. So taking care of yourself, going back to the caregiver issue, um, and building enough of your reserve in your prefrontal cortex, meaning putting money in the bank, the brain bank, learning something new, stimulating yourself, exercising your brain as far as learning, is also very protective. Um, for d preventing dementia and or uh, maybe offsetting it so it happens later on in life if it's going to happen at all. There were some great questions this evening and some of them have to do with the resentment that builds up in the caregiver because there's such repetition of questions that come from folks with dementia that they keep asking the same thing over and over again and my suggestion is a little bit of distraction um, reframing things when it happens trying to see and meet that person again where they are if someone is asking about a dead loved one, then acknowledge the fact that that loved one is dead. Don't try to pretend that it's not there. So keeping it as honest without exaggerating the situation um, helps to decrease the stress all around the caring for someone. Certainly the community VNA um, has an Alzheimer's support group and they also have um, nursing staff that are specific for Alzheimer's clients who visit in the home. Um, they are uh, the best community resource around. Um, I work for the Community Counseling Center of Bristol County and I work under a grant and it's called the Elder Mobile Outreach Team and we service po folks in their home. Um, it's not appropriate necessarily to service people with dementia, but the caregiver who might have a lot of stress over the caregiving role would be an appropriate person for me to handle on a one-to-one -one basis in the home. So that would be through the Community Counseling Center of Bristol County um, or the Senior Center, the Council on Aging in Attleboro. They're familiar with how to make referrals to our program.